You are looking at the 1951 Hudson Hornet from Matchbox. It is coming to the basic range later this year in this cool Fire Deco, Fire Chief Deco. This is the last of the three-part Matchbox preview I have done. I've done Sapphire Gems, I've done Utility Vehicles and Trucks, and now a real short one looking at cars. Some emer Two emergency, two sports cars. This one should be pretty quick. We'll start with this. It says Fernando Valley on it. I don't know if that means San Fernando Valley. I'm guessing maybe just homage to a friend named Fernando, possibly. Unless it is San Fernando, but I could be wrong. It looks good, though, nonetheless. Nice, simple deco on that one. I like that chrome trim or that kind of silver trim that goes along the sides into the back. Nice, big casting. Would have loved a chrome base. Didn't get it. And grill. That's okay. This is one of two emergency vehicles. Here's the other. And I am so happy to see this one back. It is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo Police. I think this is a unlicensed livery. This will be a 10-pack exclusive from what I understand. They haven't modified it. You can see that the emergency light on top is a different color than the window. Most of the time now, if you get a police car, the light on top will be part of the window. So it'll be the same color as the window. That's not the case here, and maybe that's why they had the budget to make this a 10-pack or a 9-pack exclusive. I love this casting. I think I've mentioned it before. It's one of my all-time favorites. Put it in my top five earlier on the on LamleyGroup.com. So always happy to see this one released again. 10-spoke wheels. All right, two more sports cars to show you. One is in the main line, and is this. It is the Porsche Panamera. Now, from what I understand, this casting has been modified. I can't figure out where it has been modified. It's just the Matchbox team told me. But this one is in blue. Obviously, full deco on the front and the rear. I'll have to look closely to see what the modifications are on this one. But this one will be in the basic range. There's several releases. I should do a showcase on this one. Or just on Matchbox Porsches in general. They've done quite a few cool ones. But this is the star for me. I like the Mitsubishi. The Panamera is cool. But this might be my number one or number two favorite casting Matchbox has ever done. It is the BMW 1M. I've done features on this casting before. It was you know went from 1M to M1. Just at BMW's request. But it is back... I have kind of bent the ear of the Matchbox team to get a BMW in white with dark rims. They said, all right, we'll, we'll meet you in the middle and we'll do silver with dark rims. I'm not to say I'm responsible for this casting or for this color, but uh, they know that I've been telling them what I'd like to see. Still, guys, I'd love to see five-spoke rims with white, five-spoke dark rims with, you know, with a white body. Nonetheless, we'll get to it later, right? This one is awesome. Love the ten-spoke rims in the kind of the graphite gray and I love the color of the model front and rear decos the 1M has be kind of kind of become a little bit of a legend because it came and went so quickly and it was so beloved by those who drove it or reviewed it I remember the top gear review so I'm always up for this one getting released and this one will be a nine pack exclusive as well so look for it as the exclusive model I don't know if it will be a 2019 or late 2018, but it is coming. There you go. Lots to be excited about. Matchbox is looking fantastic. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.